Hello viewers, today for the initial checkout we have a set of AT&T DEC6 cordless telephones. This is the AT&T model number EL51359 and it does take the AC 6 volts which I find really odd. I didn't realize until a couple of months ago just how many AT&T telephones took AC voltage in. And I just find that a bizarre design because all they're doing is taking some of the components that would normally be in here and then putting them into the base. These don't look any smaller or feel any lighter so why... Obviously it must be cheaper I guess because how else would they do it but I just find it to be a very strange design. And it's kind of frustrating because it's hard to find replacement adapters for these when they go bad because most of these adapters are AC to DC not AC to AC low voltage. Regardless, and unfortunately, these telephones are not in very good condition anymore because the goof that I bought them from decided to just put them into a paper bag and send them through the postal service as is. And you can't do that. But they did. And so they got pretty beat up on the way over and they're not in the greatest of conditions anymore. And then because I was agitated while trying to open the the bag or the box that they came in, it wasn't even a box, it was like a sturdy envelope. I accidentally cut through one of the cords so I had to fix that. So just one one fiasco after another, all because they couldn't spend an extra two minutes to to wrap the thing in some kind of protective material. Regardless, this is a set of telephones I have been looking to get for a very long time. Oh, there's batteries in here still. These are the Rayovac 700 milliamp, 2.4 volts, nickel metal hydride batteries. That's also kind of odd because, from my experience anyways, a lot of the AT&T and VTEC telephones from the DEC6 era were pretty good with the batteries. So I'm kind of surprised to see that, that these have been replaced. I don't see that too often. Anyways, um, what I was trying to get at before I made that discovery is that these are a set of telephones I have been looking for for a very long time. I remember seeing them at a local pizza joint. The place was a total dive, but it had great pizza. And I remember they had one of these telephones there. They also had a, I don't know what the brand was, but it was a 210 with a typical 25 foot cord on it. And they had some kind of a bell ringer mechanism as well in the restaurant. And I remember when I would go in there to pick up the pizza, you would always hear the phone ring. That seemed like they did a tremendous business there. They caved in. I don't know what happened. I mean, this was going back five something years now, probably more than that even. They caved in, and that was the end of them. No idea why. But uh, I missed that restaurant. They had a number of, of good fans there too. They had an old sewing fan in the back. It was a so one of those Crompton Greaves things. I think I, I may even have a very blurry photograph of it because the photograph would have been taken with a cell phone at the time and you know, prior to all these stupid iPhones the cell phones didn't take the greatest photographs. Not that I have them anyway so I would still take a photograph with a crummy cell phone camera but uh, I think I may have a photograph of that somewhere. I should try and find it. At the same restaurant, they also had um, they had one of the, some patent high velocity fans. I'm pretty sure one of them was the U220, the newer version. And they had a they had a Sears window fan near where the, uh, the oven was in the kitchen area. And that Sears window fan was running on low exhaust for probably decades straight. Uh, it, even through the winter, I'm pretty sure they ran that thing. It was always going every time I went over there. 
and then one day it was replaced with a uh, one of them last good wind machine things not that it lasts too long then after that it was replaced with a uh, like an attic fan kind of thing and then shortly after that the place caved and that was the end of it so anyways all these phones are plugged in and charging but for some reason it's not linking to the base Batteries are getting all dirty, that's just lovely. Okay, that one connected. Not sure why it wouldn't connect on its own. Sticky stuff is getting everywhere. Okay, that one also has connected. This one, the battery, I guess, is out of charge. So I'm going to have to let these charge up for a little while. I thought these batteries had some charge, but inherently I was mistaken. Okay, we're on day two now. The batteries have charged up. Looks like we have nine missed calls on here from the same day. They are from 10-6 and then after that the most recent call before rather before that was on 7-7. Seven, seven. So it looks like the last time this was used was in uh, was 7-7. Seven, seven. I wonder if that was this year. It could have been. These were purchased recently. Okay, so let's go ahead and delete these the, uh, call logs so we don't have a problem with something appearing on the video. Okay. There's nothing in the directory, so that's that's fine. All the buttons seem to press okay. No answer on here, just uh, just telephone. So let's call these up and see what happens. I miss hearing that ring. I remember in like the early to mid 2010s you could hear that everywhere you know once the um, once the unit 150 started to phase out a lot of the, not this particular model but a lot of these AT&T phones came into the picture and I remember hearing this ring all over the place different restaurants houses everywhere now you don't hear much no more because uh, the new phones they don't have it it sounds a little different anyway so they all seem to ring just fine looks like they got the caller ID okay okay all right let's go to an outside line here and let's see how good the audio quality is on the call
Serve the hot rum to the tired hero. Those words were the cue for the actor to leave. A yacht slid around the point into the bay. The place seems dull and quite stupid. Thieves who rob friends deserve jail. The frosty air passed through the coat. The crooked maze failed to fool the mouse. He wrote the last novel there at the inn. Even the worst will beat his low score. That sounds pretty good. Two old views for making boards. The wagon moved on well-oiled wheels. Pretty good range on the volume. And to have the court decide the case. <coughs> Oof, that was bad. The box was thrown beside the parked truck. Dogs were fed chopped corn and garbage. Gross. <coughs> the two met while playing on the sand. The ink stain dried on the finished page. The ripe taste of cheese improves with age. Act on these orders with great speed. Okay, so as far as the incoming audio is concerned, it looks like they all work just fine. That sounds pretty good too. This is the ring where it distorts at the highest setting. It's got a good range to it as well. time now. Some of those tones are still on some of the phones they make today. Okay, now I will... Oh, let's check this as well first. Seems to be working. It says there's a voicemail. That's not correct. I don't know why. Um, clear voicemail. Okay, so it looks like everything is fine here. All the buttons really are perfectly fine. I'm, I'm surprised given how dirty these are. They don't look like they were really taken care of and they're not even that sticky. Even the center navigation thing still works okay. Feedback Freak Show. Actually, that wasn't too bad. Okay. Now I'll record some testing messages. Three new messages and seven old messages. Message one. If I remember correctly, the pickup on these phones was pretty good as well. So overall, they were pretty good phones. Okay, this was the talk mode. Now it's on the speakerphone, so it should be a little bit louder, perhaps not quite as clear. I'm going to set the telephone down onto the table now. Okay, the telephone is on the table now. And I just now remember, and I, I think the set that was at the pizza joint may have had an answer machine. Because I know they had an answer machine there, because when you call after hours, they would have an answer machine. So, maybe this wasn't the exact set. I don't know. Anyways, regardless, right now I'm speaking about a foot over the phone. It's standing up on the table. I'm going to stop moving backwards. Let's see how good the, the pickup remains. This is about three to four feet right now. If it's working at this distance, then I would consider it a good speakerphone. This is realistically about as far as I would expect a speakerphone to work in a real-world use case. Moving back now, about six feet away now, six feet away now, feeling to move further away. Now I am all the way across. 
across the room. Approximately 11 feet. And it looks like the testing engine machine is still recording, so that must have been picking up okay. I will hang up this telephone into the base. Message two. This is the second handset, which is currently in, on phone mode. Now it's on speaker mode. I'll hang this one up into the charge cradle. Okay, it didn't seem to hang up. Message three. Yeah, hi. I went outside last night and I discovered that a skunk had sprayed down by the deck again. So maybe if you're available tonight, you can come over and help me clean it up. End of messages. Okay, so everything checked out pretty good. Performance-wise, I would say they were quite good. I was very happy with the pickup and the clarity, both on the incoming and the outgoing side. So this is definitely a set I'm going to use.